टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द गाइडलाइंस एंड द स्टडी मटेरियल रिलेटेड टू एफ सी एस पार्ट वन ऑफ सिमोलॉजी एग्जाम इफ यू आर द बिगिनर देन यू शुड नो दैट देयर आर टू एम सी क्यू पेपर ऑफ हंड्रेड एम सी क्यू ईच पेपर वन इज मोस्टली जनरल पेपर मीन्स देर विल बी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फिजियो पैथो and there were also the questions from pharma general anatomy like this and paper 2 is mostly specialty based means if you are preparing for ophthalmology exam there will be 70 to 80% questions from ophthalmology so first of all study material for the paper 1 it will be better to note down the guidelines on the paper so you can ask any question later on if you have you can ask in our whatsapp group or you can ask in the comment section as well the main source for the paper one is always always first aid usmle book this is a main reference book main reference book but i don't recommend it to study from a to z i will discuss in detail what to study from it but if you are studying the mcqs and you find any topic difficult you should move to first aid usmle and study that topic from there the second main book is double a double a consists of theory points in a system wise like there are multiple mcqs asked from the cvs unit in the past exam these are points are collected in a separate unit and likewise all other units are collected in the double a so you can study double a but you should skip gross anatomy like pelvis uh, perineum abdomen upper limb and lower limb and the second alternative of the double a is rafiulla you can also study yeah, rafiulla if you are want in rafiulla there is also system wise theory given from the past mcqs okay but you should skip pelvis abdomen upper limb lower limb but you should study head and neck head and neck is very important for the i paper and latest sk series uh, ask uh, for uh, any latest sk series available in the market and you should study the at least latest two sk series like if there is a latest 19 and 20 you should study that but i am telling only just for the information maybe when you are uh, seeing these guidelines there can be sk 25 so always ask before starting one frequently asked question is what should be studied from first aid so i always recommend to study neuro from first aid and do you not systemic pharmacology systemic pharmacology means pharmacology given at the end of cardiovascular unit git unit etc but you should skip uh, systemic pharmacology of uh, reproductive unit okay that is not important for the i people and the rest of the systemic pharmacology you should do and uh, also do fourth one is biochem this is necessary to do from first aid and the uh, rest of the first aid is optional and you can study as much as you can but this should be done you should also study drs physiology mcqs only mcqs with explanations there are very good explanation given 
with the MCQs in the BRS field theory, you should study to grip your physiology. And now we'll move on to the paper two. For paper two, you have to study Ramesh ophthalmology book in detail. Okay, there are also now the online lectures available on the YouTube uh, like this. Uh, you will get all the like this lecture. You will get all the explanations on the online lectures. You can see that on the YouTube. So what is present in the Ramesh that is very important because students are uh, confused most of the time that from where we should study the eye anatomy or physiology. In Ramesh there is eye anatomy from Snell. Okay, there is also important physio points. Okay, there is also clinical MCQs now. Clinical MCQs with explanations. You should also study that. Okay. Please read the explanation wherever it is written, wherever it is written, whatever is present in the videos. All these explanations are very important and they can help you in many MCQs in the real exam. So, this was the YouTube channel I am talking about. You can find here YouTube lectures like this, you can study the clinical MCQs new and you can study chapter wise theory of the Ramesh. And one most frequently asked question about the paper 2 is what you have to study except Ramesh. First of all, you should know that Ramesh has everything related to the paper 2 material anatomy, physio, and also now the pathology and the clinical MCQs. If you want to study any book, any book except Ramesh, then you should study Ramesh very well two to three times first. Also solve all the clinical MCQs. with videos, okay. Then you can do selective topics from Jatoy, okay. Because when you will study the clinical MCQs from Ramesh and uh, along with the videos, you should uh, be well aware of what can be asked in the exam. So you will study Jatoi in that way. And one other question frequently asked is how to cover such a huge MCQ bank of FCPS file? Yes, there are a lot of books available and lot of papers available. Even in the Ramesh, the, there are many papers above 30 to 35 papers are available in the Ramesh. So in the first read, study everything. In the second read, start marking difficult MCQs. It will save your time at the end. And in the third read, Study only marked. And in this read, then again mark the difficult ones you should study at the end days near the exam. In this way, you can narrow down your course. That was all about the guidelines and the study material related to the FCPS part 1 ophthalmology. If uh, there is uh, any update in the guidelines, so it will be updated in the first pin comment of this video. The rest of the guidelines will 
stay same but if there is any update we will update this in the first pin comment so always see the first pin first pin comment of this video if there is no update so it means that you have to follow the same guidelines if there is any update even then also follow that that was all about today's